all the way around. We met this dance downstairs. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, but you'll just go through this corridor and go downstairs. That's where all the stands are. Okay. Have a good time. And then Eugene is right there. So, perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Christina. and welcome back to my channel. It has been a little bit since my last video, but I'm so excited to be back with this video about Traveler's Company Road Trip Caravan. It was an event in Long Beach in the Los Angeles area, and I was able to attend day one of this event where there was a very special TN and a Viking Spiral Notebook opportunity. I was completely shocked that the Japanese Travelers Company team made their way out here to Long Beach, California, but I guess I should have realized when it was a Viking Spiral Notebook event. I just, there was just so much going on already. The fact that they were releasing a possible USA exclusive, that is, I think, the rumors about this event, but I first saw the... I guess, save the date announcement <laughs> in San Francisco during the San Francisco Pen Show at the Traveler's Company table. They were passing out this little postcard here um, with USA Tro Road Trip event schedule. And little did I realize it was a teaser of what was to come. And what was at the event was the release of a new TN. So let's go ahead and unbox that just so we can have it out and look at it. So I've already opened this up, which is why it's not in its usual <laughs> packaging, but this is the little leaflet that is usually shown on the outside of the TN. And now we have here the TN, and it is a beautiful brown with rose gold embossing. It comes with 
two gray elastics. The elastic on the outside of the packaging is brown. And a little teaser here is you'll see that I actually have a signature on the inside and we'll talk more about that later. But here is the insert. It has gold foiling of the same slogan and the bus with a journal stack on top and then the craft paper on the inside. So I'll leave that out here for viewing pleasure while I continue to talk about this event. So first up was in LA County, specifically Long Beach area. I attended the November 2nd date and they will be going around through the first week of November to different cities. So this was held at Intertrend Space in Long Beach and it was a pretty good amount of space. What I don't think anybody anticipated was how many fanatics and Travelers Company lovers attended the show. There were over 400 attendees, which is amazing for Travelers Company and amazing for all of us just to see how big this community is, especially for California or Southern California locals, just to see how many people there actually are local to this area who are into journaling, stationery, and Travelers Company. I had a great time standing in line. It was a very long time, but honestly, my husband, who was very supportive to come join me, we, well, I should ask him. I haven't actually asked him. <laughs> we thought, you know, the time in line was time well spent chatting with people around us. I think you have to make the most of what you're given and the opportunities you have. So I saw it as an opportunity to share with the people around me my TNs and what I do with them and ask them about their journaling journey. What do they like about TNs? What do they know? When did they get into it? And so why not make it a journal meetup if you're going to stand in line for two hours anyways? <laughs> and by the end of it, you come out with not only great products, but friends as well. So I have some clips to show of the event to just really give you a visual of what it was like. It was very crowded, but very, very organized. The way that the line snaked through made it so that you were pretty much in line the entire time you were in the space and at the event because it snaked through every single part of the room so that you could still see everything without feeling like you were stuck in line and missing a part of the room. So I was able to pick up, there was a maximum of two per person per item. So the four items with this road trip is the TN, a brass clip, a pack of stickers, and a tote bag. So let me actually grab my tote bag. So my tote bag is actually full of other people's stuff that I was picking up for people and I don't even know if this is going to fit in frame with how large it is but I did also get this signed by a very special someone at the event um, but like I said it was a limit of two per person so that's why I dragged my husband there I was able to buy two sets and my husband two sets and those are all accounted for so <laughs> Those are all going to Happy Homes. Um, a friend wanted the California insert, so I picked that up for that person as well. But other than that, everything were the road trip items. And here is the TN. Same exact slogan as what it looks like on the insert. Let's go on a road trip with Traveler's Notebook. Okay, since I've shown this signature twice, let's talk about it now. It is the signature of Mr. Atsuhiko Ijima. And Atsuhiko Ijima is the creator of Traveler's Company Notebook. So what an amazing treat it was to just be in his presence. He was working the floor just like any other employee, helping restock items and show people around and if people knew who he was 
and weren't shy. <laughs> I was still shy, but my husband helped me to have this opportunity to ask Mr. Ijima-san or Ijima-san to sign not only my tote bag, but the inside of my notebook as well. And it was, it's such a great signature that he has the TRC diamond and a TN there. And I, I just love it to really commemorate it. I'm getting a lot braver with doing things to my TN that make them special to me and the experiences that I have. For example, with my California TN, my most favorite TN of mine, I decided to get it stamped on the inside here with the road trip stamp of the event and then the Traveler's Town and a circle there. And while I've had many opportunities to use some of the older stamps, um, I think I now want to start adding stamps in here when I travel with this TN to events. So I left some space for me there. And if you watched my San Francisco pen show video, you know that I got this stamped on the back. And this stamp was available there at the road trip event and I encouraged many other people to stamp the back of their TNs as well. Going on to the other items here, we had the TN, the tote bag. Here is the brass clip. I'll go ahead and open it now. I am so surprised and happy with this item. This honestly has to be my favorite thing of everything. While I do love the TN, it is just so rare that they make more brass clip designs. The brass clip designs right now are currently the, well, I have them, so let's just open, <laughs> let's just get them out. The brass clip designs I have are the classic Traveler's Company logo, which I, I don't know where it is now. We have the airlines have a nice trip one. I was able to get Starbucks Reserve Roastery when I visited that place in Japan in January and then now we have the road trip one so there's a total of only four right now and I think that's so cool that they made one for the road trip and how special it is that I was able to pick one up and then we have the sticker pack and I have not looked through these yet So it says there are nine stickers. This one is the logo with a circular quote. Let's go on a road trip with Traveler's Notebook. Here's like a highway sign, road trip with a Cadillac. This is the diner car. Then we have a Traveler's Diner sticker. This one has the same color palette as the Traveler's Diner sticker set but it does have this new sticker here that says drive-in or new part of the sticker. Then we have coffee and donuts. Let's go on a road trip with Traveler's Notebook. Here is the caravan, bus, car, van <laughs> in a different orientation. It's actually the same as what's on the cover. Let's go on. I keep I keep reading it as if it's different, <laughs> but this one is in a starry night kind of illustration. Another highway sign, historic Route 66, an old school gasoline pump, and then a sticker of the Traveler's Hotel keychain, which I am lucky to say I have as well, and I have that on my stationery bag. So those are the stickers. What I like to do with my stickers is scan them on my printer and then I save these and never use them. <laughs> and I just cut out the scanned photocopy, colored copy, and I use that and stick that on journal spreads. So that is actually, I'm gonna leave this out because that's what I'm going to go do right after filming this video. At the event, there was a second special opportunity called the Viking Spiral Notebook. You did need to have a reservation. I unfortunately did not get a reservation, 
but fortunately was able to get a notebook. A friend of mine scheduled two notebooks for her appointment. Unfortunately, she was not able to go, but I was able to do her appointment for her and she so generously told me that I could have the second notebook. So I assembled her notebook for her and I really had no idea what to do with my notebook. This is the combination that I chose. I chose the cover with rose gold foiling and opted for the black spiral. I had looked at the spiral notebooks that I have at home and I already have something with a gold spine and a rose gold spine so I wanted to set this one apart when it's on my shelf like that that the black spine is the one from the road trip event because this insert is very special and I hope it works out I haven't tested it we can test it here in this video but here is the front sheet every single sheet is in the format that I filed it in and a sheet that I chose to have in here so they have this Viking sheet that I chose to put in the front to kind of just be like that front page that you always have in a TN insert. They gave a pocket, one per person. You could either get one like this or one that was a third of the way. I don't know what that purpose would really be <laughs> for that pocket. I think I saw everybody in front of me and behind me select this one they have a full um notebook of this called the card file but they were giving everybody one sheet so i decided to put it in the front and i will probably file some instax polaroid photos of the road trip event and then i chose to include i think about nine or ten of these pockets my intention with this notebook is to make it a sticker release notebook and that is because of these plastic sheets in the back. So I plan to file pet tape loops in here that I intend to cut and then later stick onto here. I actually peeled the brown sticker from the packaging to see if it would lift easily and this has been sitting overnight so we'll be able to test how a sticker sitting for a while peels off of this but this on the table was labeled I can't remember now I'll have a video of it <laughs> but it said in parentheses like washi tape and along the lines of it being removable and being able to stick it on and off so I took a sheet I found an employee and I asked her is it going to work for stickers as well and she told me yes, so in theory, it could work as a sticker release. The only thing is that it's clear, so you're always going to be seeing what's on the other side of it. But I thought this would be nice to just have like a bigger, thicker sticker release book. I originally maxed out on all of the pages that I could. They gave you this little slit for you to feed the pages into so you could see what the maximum was. You didn't have to get to the maximum, but there was a maximum so that you're not bursting your notebook already before you even get to use it. So I originally maxed it out, but then I realized I'm going to be adding stickers and pet tape and loops into these pages. So I do need to have some allowance for it to bulk up. So I removed a few pages from the pockets and from the um, plastic sheet. And so in theory, this should work great as a sticker release. So I did stick this on and I've been able to peel it off easily. The one thing that I didn't realize I do so much is that in my, okay, so it does peel off and there really isn't much residue except for on the corner. But in my sticker release inserts, I bend the page a lot to kind of get the edge of the sticker to flip up. And this is a lot thicker than sticker release paper. So it's not so easy to bend. I don't know how this is going to work. And I lost my tweezers that I always use to kind of lift up the edge. So we'll see. I'm going to fill up a sheet of one of these sheets with pet tapes front and back and just kind of see how that looks like later. Um, if that doesn't work, then I guess I just made myself a very giant washi sample collection book because 
I'm sure washi tape works really well on this. I didn't have any need for a spiral notebook in terms of like a watercolor book or another journal. Um, I would have really loved it if I could have had a whole folder of just card files, which is actually what my intention was. I was wondering if I could buy or get my own card file notebooks, bring it there and ask them to kind of just switch the cover out. Um, I mean, I guess anyone really could by undoing the spiral, but that's just part of the magic of the event is watching them assemble and just effortless, effortlessly bind the notebook. So that is my little haul, small but mighty, for anyone attending the future dates in San Francisco and Port Townsend. My advice is that if you really want to get in and out as fast as possible, you will wait the least amount of time if you show up before the event and be first in line. And that is because you'll probably wait an hour before the event doors open and then be the first ones to kind of check out and you could totally leave if you have something going on the rest of the day. But in regards to my experience on day one in LA, there was a two hour wait at every single point in the day. The line did not let up. My friends who showed up around 10 a.m. still took two hours, almost two hours to wait in line, another hour to go through the line on the inside, but still being able to now do things like their spiral notebook appointment, stay in line to buy the merchandise and the products. So that still took them another hour on the inside. And the same went for me. I fell in line at 12.20, got to the front door by 2.15, so pretty much two hours, another one hour in the line inside as well. I will say, if you have a spiral notebook appointment and it is fairly close to your appointment appointment time, you can go up to the doors and say that you have an appointment. If they have space available at the Viking area, they will take you in early and you pretty much don't have to wait in any of the lines outside of the front doors if you have a Viking appointment. So let's say, so I, I did have my friend's appointment at 3.45. I could have totally just shown up to the event for the first time of that day at 3.30, 3.20ish and show them my appointment time and they would have let me in the door and I wouldn't have waited the two hours outside. I would then, actually, another part that I learned and observed is that once you are done with your Viking appointment, an employee escorts you to the tables and ask you what products you're looking for and she grabs them for you. So you aren't able to get up to the table because there's a line already there, but the employee kind of just funnels through for you after you tell her what you need and you're escorted to the cashier because of you finishing your Viking appointment and them helping you to get the other items so you're not jumping back into the line that everybody has continued to be in. So that is actually a huge plus. My recommendation and advice is to show up 20 minutes before your appointment time, show your reservation, and they will more than likely take you in. You might have to wait a little bit for some space in the Viking paper buffet area or they'll take you in right away to do your appointment. My experience in regards with walk-ins is that they, on the blog post, said that they would assess the space available for taking in walk-ins after 12 noon. And this checks out because I had a friend ask around 10.30 if they were going to do walk-ins and the employees had said no. And then for myself, when I was in there around um, 2.45, had seen um, people next to me ask for walk-ins and they took about three or four walk-ins within the time that I was around that space. And then I asked if 
they could take my appointment early and they said yes. So that's when I did my Viking paper buffet notebook. And by the end of the day, Traveler's Company did post that they were no longer going to be able to take walk-ins for the Viking Spiral Notebook for November 3rd. That's my advice for anyone for attending the San Francisco and Port Townsend locations. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I think I'm going to start gathering my ephemera and see what I can do for my spread in my journal. Let me go ahead and show this pamphlet that they had. So right when you got to the front doors, you were greeted by Travelers Company USA employees. The Japanese team were mostly helping to restock and do the Viking spiral notebook. And the Travelers Company USA team were the greeters as well as the cashiers. So here's the pamphlet, sorry. It says the scenic route guide with Traveler's Company. And when you first open it, it is divided by the three locations. So we have Long Beach, California at Intertrend, San Francisco, California at Heath Ceramics, and Port Townsend, Washington at Art Toolkit. And then a little bit about those locations. And then here are the items for Let's Go on a Road Trip and their, um, kind of their inspiration for how they came up with this and then on the back is a photo and I actually know where this photo is from this is a photo that Job took of the Travelers Company USA team they quite literally did a road trip from San Francisco Pen Show down to Long Beach where the USA warehouse is so they quite literally went on a road trip with the road trip TN and had some photos there and I think that is so cool. I want to keep this intact but I also want to cut it up and use it in my spread. I think what I'm going to do is photocopy this so that I can cut out parts of it. Um, or I could leave it and just have it be a complete a tip in in my journal wow this spread is going to be the exact middle of this insert so I need to make a photocopy of that as well I'm always torn on whether to use this I would really love to but then of course part of me always wants to keep it so I think I'll do the same thing and make a photocopy and that way I can kind of rip this up and have it go diagonally across the page. I honestly feel like this is going to be a two page kind of spread which has never happened in this insert. This is my stationary insert and usually things are either one half half of the page or the full spread page. So I don't know lots of ephemera to use. I even can now use this postcard now that the event is through for me. I can have this in there like that and then add some photos there on the back or even more things like this. I don't know. Lots of different ways to do this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. 